hello beautiful people you are welcome back again to my channel and it's so good to see your beautiful faces again thanks so much for stopping by so here is another update regarding cbsa denying some nigerian and um, indian visitors entry into canada and um, offering them the application for refugee status if you have been following my channel that was the last video i uploaded so today's video um i'll be talking about this cbsa coming out to make some clarification on the reports of denying entry to some indian visitors so this matter is really really getting sweeter you know um that news was all over the place and um it didn't really portray something nice about the cbsa officials in fact even me i was like ah, ah, has it gotten to this and even people um commented in the comment section that ah so is it now like this and like that so they came out now to come and do some clarifications which which i'll be reading out to you guys but before i go um into the things they said because i'll just be reading everything out i don't want to add mine i mean i may just react to what they said but i'll just be reading whatever they must have said just the way it is if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet what are you waiting for please do hit the subscribe button and um, don't forget to like comment and share this video the heading is cbsa's clarification on reports of denying entry to some indian visitors um from what i have here they said recently multiple visitors from india reported that the Canada Border Services Agency, popularly known as CBSA, was denying entry to Canada at Montreal Airport, even after a valid visa. That was the last update, yeah. Then similar reports were also reported in previous months with visitors from India and Nigeria saying that they are having a hard time at airports with CBSA's um, increased scrutiny. Additionally, it was also reported that CBSA has been repeatedly asking such to apply for a refugee case at the airport or else they will have to go back to their home country. Look, on behalf of CBSA, did mention that a visa is not a guarantee of entry to Canada. Furthermore, he added that if someone previously entered Canada on a visa, the subsequent visit on a valid visa is also not a guarantee of re-entry to Canada. Let me react to this. Most persons used to think that when they visited a particular country before, in this case, Canada, they feel it should always be like that. Well, that was what we used to know, that once you are given um, a visiting visa, then there's nothing stopping you. Anytime you apply, they will always give you. Now, the CBSA official is saying there is no guarantee that even if you have been given visiting visa before, you could still be denied even after visiting. So that's what um, he was trying to say here. From the email that he responded to CBSA turning back Indian and Nigerian visitors at airports, I would like to clarify a few points. Having obtained a visitor visa or having been previously authorized to enter Canada does not guarantee the right to enter Canada. On arrival at the Canada port of entry, all travelers must demonstrate that they meet the requirements to enter. Only certain people enter Canada by right as described in section 19 of the immigration refugee protection act 
the Canada Border Services Agency, CBSA, does not direct travelers to make refugee claims. So now they are coming out straight to say they don't direct travelers to make refugee claims. So this is now like countering what we heard earlier or what we saw earlier that they were urging people to um, go for refugee um, status. Yeah. So now it's coming out to say they don't direct people to make refugee claims. Should a traveler seek to make a refugee claim upon arrival in Canada, the CBSA will determine whether or not the claim is eligible under the additional protocol of the Safe Third Country Agreement and the IRPA. If eligible, the person's file will be referred to the Immigration and Refugee Board of Canada, IRB, for consideration and the person will be authorized to enter Canada to pursue their claim for protection. If ineligible, they may be removed from Canada. The CBSA's role at ports of entry is to assess the admissibility of persons coming to Canada. All persons, including Canadian citizens, seeking entry to Canada must present to the CBSA and may be subject to a more in-depth exam. Admissibility of all travelers is decided on a case-by-case -case basis and based on the information made available at the time of entry. What this means is that even though people are coming in as visitors, they will not be asked the same questions. Yeah, there may be general questions that they could ask them, but there will still be some particular questions that could be different from the ones that they will ask another person. So that's what it means. Some persons have ever said, oh, when I got to the port of entry, the officer didn't even ask me any question. Some will tell you, um, the officer just asked me like two questions. Why some will still tell you, man, I was drilled. Over one hour, I was trying to convince them. So that is how this works. Officers are trained in interview, examination, and investigative techniques. They use proven indicators, um, advanced information, intelligence, um, innovative technology, and information sharing to carry out their mandate. The CBSA does not provide comment or details on specific individual cases as an um, individual's border and immigration information is considered private and protected by the Privacy Act. However, anyone wishing to provide feedback on our services is invited to do so using the feedback form on our website. That is, contact us, um, I think, feedback into brackets. I'll put it on the screen. CBSA, um, I think, ASFC.gc.ca. So this is a very good opportunity for those that have one or two complaints to make. If you feel they, are, they didn't treat your in-laws or anyone that is coming to visit you, if you feel they were not treated well, They've provided where you can go put your feedback. I think, to me, is a good one so that you can go pour your heart there. And if you also think otherwise, you can also share your feedback um, using their services. At the end of the mail, he wrote, Thank you kindly, Luke Riemann, spokesperson, Canada Border Services Agency. Um, government of Canada they've clarified it that more like they wouldn't do all those things or all those news we are hearing I can't say it's not saying the truth or not but he has just come to clarify it and he also made it known that you getting a valid visa or you visiting maybe the second or third time is not a guarantee that you will be given access you could be given and you could be denied is up to them so i think um, everything now is clear 
said clear yeah everything is clear so at this point um, visitors should be able to provide information that aligns with what is in the application just to avoid this harassment to avoid being unnecessarily delayed at the port of entry so because i brought the previous updates i just had to also bring this one so this one just happened like two days back so i decided to share it with you guys hope you found this update useful or helpful if you did kindly give this video a thumbs up and if you are still considering whether you should subscribe to this channel or not i think you should consider subscribing and don't forget to comment and share this video see you all in my next video bye